Lexmoto Tempest GT 125 Best Motorcycle Review, slightly cheaper standard and scrambler-focused styling based on the existing scrambler-inspired Tempest 125, the Lexmoto Tempest GT 125 is the latest L-plate-friendly retro from the Chinese bike importers. Although lacking the outright performance and technology of more premium Japanese and European 125s, at around half the price of some, it offers a viable introduction to retro motorcycling for the cash-strapped teen to be proud of. Boasting contemporary styling, only complemented by its minimalist air-cooled engine, and producing a cracking thud from its dinky exhaust system, it's a bike best suited to carving through the urban sprawl or chugging sedately along deserted back roads. Ride quality and brakes suspending the GT125 as a set of non-adjustable 37mm conventional forks and twin shocks. Although small in stature, they soak up the vast majority of bumps amicably, crashing hard over only the largest of potholes. This is combined with a well-padded, yet thin, cafe-style bench seat, which also houses a small pillion perch beneath a plastic cowling, not that you'd want to use it. The GT's proportions also make it ideal for novices and smaller riders, with a low seat height of just 780mm, curb weight of 126kg, feather light clutch and ergonomic foot pegs making it easy to paddle around at low speeds both on and off the bike. Unfortunately, that ease of use is hampered by the linked brakes, a method used on some 125s instead of abs to get through European legislation. Applying the front brake will slow the bike in a slightly vague, yet conventional manner, however applying the rear will cause the softly sprung front end to surge aggressively, making it much harder to drag during slow speed maneuvers. This is made worse by the cheap Timson tires, which lack feel in the cold and wet conditions, occasionally allowing the front wheel to break traction across painted lines in the road. They can also make cornering something of a guessing game, lacking the feeling of a premium tire and leaving the rider feeling disconnected from the road beneath them. Adding a new set of quality rubber would improve the riding experience significantly. Engine produced in Taizhou, China at the Longjiao factory, which builds bikes under license for several other firms selling bikes in the UK. The engine comes from Zongshen and, before you turn and run, this same firm also produce engines for the likes of the stonking Fantic Caballero 500 range and, back in 2017, signed a deal with Norton to produce copies of their 650 parallel twin. Still in a Euro 4 guise, Lexmoto aims to make the jump to Euro 5 towards the end of 2020. The 125cc air-cooled single-cylinder engine produces a gentle 9.7 bhp at 8,500 revolutions per minute and is happiest up to and below 60 miles per hour, with the stubby exhaust providing a deep, clattery chug befitting its 60s Brit bike styling. Exiting below the rider's right foot, climbing through the gears is a joy to behold, indulging in a warbly soundtrack all the way to the 10,000 revolutions per minute limiter. Coming back down the box is just as fun, developing a delightful pop on the overrun, and encouraging aggressive downshifts wherever possible. Despite the excellent noise, at the bottom end of the reverend range, the fueling feels slightly wooly, with a bit of play in the throttle itself making it difficult to accurately pull away gently. Reliability and build quality aim squarely at new riders and trendy urban commuters, while some will wince at its Chinese origins, every machine comes complete with a two-year parts and labor warranty, with over 110 dealers across the UK able to carry out any maintenance work required. Despite the strong support network, at just 430 miles old, our test bike was already showing signs of wear, raising questions about longevity. Up front, rust had started to appear on the forks and after an hour in the saddle, an iffy sensor produced a warning light on the dash. Applications of the front brake lever also produce a high-pitched squeak, too. Value versus rivals with a launch price of £1,899.99, the Euro 4 compliant GT125 is £100 more than the standard Tempest and offers budding retro enthusiasts an affordable slice of two-wheeled freedom. This price is even more impressive when you consider a bog-standard Yamaha YS125 as £2,999 which, while offering slightly better spec and a strong dealer network, lacks the style and charm of the Lexmoto. What's more, it's also considerably cheaper than other Chinese-based retros, including the £2,950 Mutt Mongrel 125 and the brand new Harold Brat 125, launched at Motorcycle Live 2019 at a price of £2,999. Equipment despite its wallet-friendly price tag, Switchgear feels surprisingly sturdy. It's by no means lavish, however its chunky finish gives the impression it will stand the test of time. It's also logically placed, with the narrow flat bars meaning everything is within easy reach.